Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about my favorite LDS songs. These are pop songs that resonate with what it is like to be LDS. The song shows a fun way with how to experience a beautiful LDS life as well. I changed the details of the music video as well. Sorry that I have not posted in a while. I was just busy with school and work at that time. I also moved my blog El Catolico Neurotico to Substack and I got a new computer. So number five is Close My Eyes by Mariah Carey. It's about an LDS girl who is still in high school in Corner Canyon. She is suffering from a faith crisis where she has a lot of existential questions about her faith. She wonders as to whether she'll see Heavenly Father. She wonders constantly whether she is pure enough or whether she is reading her scriptures right. She doesn't feel Heavenly Father close to her life even when she is trying to get close to him. She has psychosis when she practices her religion and thinks, thinks about Heavenly Father as well. Whenever she is hiking the Potato Hill Trail, she cries when she's looking at the Draper Utah Temple because religion is so difficult for her. She sings Mariah Carey's lyrics, such as During the Edge of Oblivious, I Almost Fell Right Over. A part of me will never be quite able to feel stable. That woman child, that woman child, feeling inside, failing inside, on the verge of fading because we don't know if she's gonna lose her faith or not. So, number four is In the Long Run by Eagles. I believe it talks about these LDS football players from Corner Canyon High School that are having a nice trip to Las Vegas, and they seem to have a nice time in every rest stop. I feel that their trip is trendy, and the main characters seem so cool. I believe they end up staying in the Hard Rock Hotel. I feel that they are wearing nice clothes as they walk the strip as well. I think they wear Nike socks and shoes and American Eagle jeans. I believe that there is also a nice pool party as well. Number three is Jump by Van Halen. It talks about an LDS basketball game at Brigham Young University. I mostly think of last year's victory over the University of Utah, which is awesome. I, or, I don't know, a basketball game at the YSA Chapel Gym. I was just thinking of how everything looks so much nicer when it involves LDS basketball players. The game is watchable as well and it is very lively. So number two is Always Be My Baby by Mariah Carey. The song is about a woman in a YSA ward who had to go through a faith crisis. She reminisces that before the faith crisis, everything was everlasting because she was LDS. And the lyric is, and it seemed everlasting that you'll always be mine. She indicates that she was in a faith crisis in a lyric called, and I ain't gonna cry no, I won't beg you to stay. But you're determined to leave, boy. I will not stand in your way. I think that her faith crisis is since she reads a CS letter. So she is sad that she is losing everything that is beautiful and true about the LDS. She then finds other information that confirms that the CS letter isn't true. The lyric, um, you and I will always be, signifies that she will love the LDS church no matter what. It then shows her having a nice... YSA party with her church friends. So number one is The Way by Ariana Grande. The song talks about a young woman, let's call her Shailene Johnstone, who is LDS, who goes to Westlake High School, who graduated back in 2020. She loved high school because she was a 10 and a cheerleader. However, she was on break from cheer practice and especially on lunch. She sneaks off and watches the football players. She doesn't have a boyfriend and she is in high school. And because she wants to date all the LDS football players from her school, she has a beautiful home life in which she looks at LDS pictures in her house. Her dad owns a boat as well. During the summer, she likes to have a pool party with the LDS football players. The cheerleaders and her other friends would also be in attendance. But she is always with the football players in the pool party. In the busy schedule, she has time to study her scriptures. She eventually would go on her mission to Portland, Oregon. She came back from her mission in 2023 and is slated to marry a guy whose name is Michael Zachariah Wilton at the Saratoga Springs Utah Temple. He was one of the football players that Shaylee knew since she was in high school. Thanks everyone for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!